overcome was recorded and performed and produced by myself, Turner and Brad Wolf in 2019 at Port Nalunga South, South Australia, Noraville on the Central Coast, New South Wales, and South Yarra, Melbourne, Victoria. Overcome, the seventh album from the Andy Joel series. The more laid back, easy listening brother to the dynamic dancey sister album, Moods Have Colours. I called this album the Salvatore album, purely because this album was the record that became diverse, popular and full of substance. It wouldn't have been if it wasn't for the two other artists I work with on this project. So there definitely was a lot going on. So to start off, Overcome was and is definitely an album of hope, faith, trust and love. 2019 was the year of awakening, the light at the end of the tunnel, the angels calling throughout the universe to help me reconnect with my higher self. So at this point in my life, hitting rock bottom with the struggles of my mental illness, I decided to go and get some help. But not only that, reaching a certain age, you start to notice changes in your body. Um, what's that? Why is this happening? That kind of thing. My anxiety doesn't help when it comes to finding out things that are out of your control. One day, I went to the doctor and got checked over, and she thought that there was something wrong with my belly. That freaked me out, big time. To make things worse, as I was leaving the surgery, I passed out for about a minute, falling onto the floor. One minute I was conscious, then the next, everything just faded away. Obviously from stress and not eating properly, the doctors kept me there longer. I had a coffee and a biscuit to lift my sugar levels up after being checked over again. I had to wait for my partner to come and pick me up as I couldn't drive home after that. For months, I was in a state of panic. I was too scared to go and have tests or go back to the doctor. I was convinced though that there was something wrong with me. But after having the first round of tests, thankfully there was nothing major. And there were no underlying health conditions causing my anxiety. As it runs in the family, It's clinical. So back on medication and seek counselling for cognitive behaviour therapy. That did help. After a lot of meltdowns and anxiety ridden visits to the psychologist. But at the end of it, it was all worth it. But the next issue was to be on the right medication that actually worked effectively for me. I had been on a few different ones, such as Zoloft, Christine, Cipramil, Seroquel, and Indep. Zoloft worked the best for a good while, but when life throws you lemons, big sour ones I mean, maybe it's time to change things up 
when you find it's hard to cope. But that's easier said than done. Eventually, I went and seen a psychiatrist. I was told I wasn't crazy, but my anxiety is clinical. I was put on Lexapro, and I'm still on it today. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. It makes me happy. It gives me courage. It keeps me focused. It helps with my nerves. But I still need to work on not worrying about the unknown. Or what I'm not in control of. I needed to start keeping even more busier than before. And I needed to stop overthinking and reading into things that aren't there. So to help that situation, I scored myself a job as a contract commercial cleaner. And I'm still working for the same company today. If there are any kind of doubts from there, they had most likely all disappeared. My life was finally changing for the better. I finally had some balance. Now before I started working, I did release a few music videos to show you all what I had in store. Music is my happy place. That's why I kept going. The first music video I shared was the funky fun disco track, Disco Infections. This song was my comeback, if you want to call it that. It did get a lot of people's attention because it was new, fresh, but old school. It has a Jamiroquai sound and vibe to it, very nostalgic. That, of course, was what I was aiming for. It even got played at a local club and on a couple of local radio stations with the help of another local producer. Hence the footage on the video also. This catchy tune has been said to get stuck in people's heads, but I get told that about a lot of my music. It's still thrilling to hear great feedback from people. It's very heartwarming. I also have to add that I didn't originally write the lyrics to this song. Turner started writing to the beat and then I added to it. I mean, we both had different ideas for the melody, but I guess mine stuck. We both loved it. Everyone loved it. Now sticking to the theme of funky disco, I released my next song, In The Moment. In the music video, I get some footage of the CBD of Adelaide, just to show the people of Adelaide that I am now local and that I am present. Check me out. There's my famous pink hat. Chroma Seizure was playing its part again. Pink clothes, pink backdrop. This song, to me, is very pink, so the video had to be as well. But when the audio releases happened in 2020, there was a remix of the track released at the same time. The remix was called the Dancing Limes Remix. I used a green cover art rather than the pink, as the remix gave me a lime green vibe, hence the name of the remix, Dancing Limes. But there's more to this song than you all know. The remix was actually the original beat for the song. It was originally going to appear on a proposed extended edition of Moods Have Colours. But that never happened, as Moods Have Colours wasn't popular enough to extend. So because the song was so good, and I wanted it on this album instead, but it didn't flow with the disco theme, so I decided to redo it 
to fit the theme. My plan worked and once again everyone loved it. That's why we have two releases for In The Moment. I call them both the Timely Twins. Yin and Yang. Same song, but completely different. Now that's magic. The next music video I released was Feels Right. This gorgeous laid back, down to earth, easy listening, yet melodic tune became the most popular track at this point in time. I really don't have much else to say about this one. It's just a fantastic tune that everyone really loved. And still loves. It was one of those songs where the listeners appreciated it more than myself. That's something that always blows me out of the water. Unfortunately though, my time became very limited because of my work roster. So after I completed the Overcome album and those three videos, I decided to take a break and to just concentrate on working. Even though I made a bit of time to still work with my other two artists, Turner and Brad Wolf. So as well as creating some magic for these guys, I got them to create a bit of magic for me. The first collaboration I want to talk about is the first track with Turner, Familiar Face. This song was originally going to be for him. After all, he did write it. But after listening to his album we were working on at the time, Familiar Face didn't really fit the theme. So I took it on instead. That's how the whole collaboration idea started in the first place. This R&B driven track with the emotional strings is so deep and meaningful. A lot of people can relate, even myself. The second collaboration track with Turner was L-O-V-E, just a little bit. This swing folk-like track is actually the second most popular song on the album. Once again, this song was originally for Turner, but it just didn't fit the theme for his album that we were working on. I swear it would have, but it didn't. But I just want to say one thing. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you for all the hard work that you have done for me over the last few years and it's never gone unnoticed you're an amazing person with an awesome persona and I don't know where I'd be without you right now that's all now on to the next two collaborations with Brad Wolf, as I was doing some remix work for some of his tracks of his upcoming album, Infamy. He decided to make some new original magic for me. Always Been This Way was the first track. This dark, deep, electronic R&B track is just so great, as Brad is a great storyteller this song was very scenario based and so was the next track, Good Night. This song was more of a ballad and this ballad was more of a favourite to Brad's fans. I love how pretty this song is actually. It's really emotional. So I want to say this, thanks Brad for your contributions, you helped to deliver a great album and you did teach me a little bit also. So yeah, I just want to thank you for that. Now because these songs didn't have music videos, I performed them live on my own with the piano and just my vocals. 
just to help get more exposure for those tracks. So of course I had written other tracks for the album which all deserve to be singles such as Set Me Free, Overcome, Still Breathing, Empath, Shine Your Light and Lead Me. They were just audio only releases on Facebook. This album was just so good. Too many great songs to release them all individually. I remember when the album officially got released early 2020, a friend of mine showed me that he was playing his album in the car. Thank you, sunshine. Go you, thank you. All in all, I really do think Overcome is my favourite album out of all the records so far. So from here on, life was becoming more exciting and uplifting. I can't thank you all enough though. I really wish I could hug every one of you in person. Like really. Your love and support has not gone unnoticed. Cheers again lovelies. Until next time.